Hey guys, Mixmaster G here and excuses for the audio, but I'm recording this with the internal microphone of my MacBook Pro. This is a quick rundown of a new script that I have introduced with the iTunes collection tool version 2.3.1. This script will help you find tracks that have trouble with the audio files in any given music iTunes playlist. You need to have Quicksilver installed. And Quicksilver is a little tool that can launch scripts by using a keyboard stroke. Um, and the keyboard strokes for my scripts are automatically installed with the iTunes collection tool. If you have used a previous version of the iTunes collection tool, then you need to reset the Quicksilver prefs. So the iTunes collection tool will install the new scripts. More information on the DMG file that the iTunes collection tool came on in the miscellaneous folder. You can quickly check that by going to Quicksilver and then checking in the triggers. In the triggers, you get a complete rundown of all the various shortcuts that the iTunes collection tool provides you with. And I will look specifically at the F10 shortcut. You start it up by selecting a random track in a playlist and I will focus on the Café de la Mar playlist folder in my real life collection. If I double click it, the track will start to play. I can now stop the track and if I invoke F10, then the script will search beyond the selected track. So the selected track is kind of like a threshold and beyond that track, the F10 script will look for a track with a problem and it found one here. Usually you get notifications what the problem is with the audio file, but I found out that if you record a screen using OBS or the QuickTime player, those notifications are not recorded. They are suppressed because usually that would mess up a recording. Uh, but I wanted to intentionally show them and that's not possible. So you will have those notifications if you allow Quicksilver to send notifications. And I recommend you to do that. You can see that you need to choose a file for uh, the track Filmation Lula. You see that track also selected right here in the lower part and with the exclamation mark which indicates that the track is missing. If you go to this bar, the script automatically copied the title and artist of the trouble track in the clipboard, which means if you do command V, paste, it will show you the track with those specific metadata in it. So it finds it in this file path and saying choose will attach it to that track. The track will start playing and you will know everything is fine. Pressing F10 again, will again invoke the script and searching for the next track that has an issue. And there are various kind of issues that it will find. It will find tracks that are in your designated duplicates folder. So because you are going to empty that duplicates folder one day, uh, then those tracks will be lost. So it will warn you and tell you either to take the audio file out of the duplicates folder or make sure that you choose another audio file. It will find tracks that have a non-audio file attached to it. Long story, I talk about this in the AMA livestream, link is above my head. Or it will show you, as in this example, a track that doesn't have an audio file attached to it or the audio file is missing. And every time you simply go to the search box, you see that you have to choose the file, command V, and then simply double click it. You can take it to the next level. As you can see, there are duplicates here. This is a duplicate track of the previous one. If I press F6, I invoke a script that will search for all the tracks that met those criteria and it puts them in a manual duplicate, all those tracks. And I press F9, I invoke a script which let me pick the best quality track and then it will merge those tracks into one so you won't lose any entries in your playlist. Pressing command equal sign brings you back to where you were left off. So if I play this track for just a little bit to make it the threshold track, press F10 again, it will find the next track in my list. It finds the track, command F, command V, and there I assign the audio file to it. F6 because there are duplicates there as you can see. So it will search those duplicates and it will automatically go right duplicates folder. Select them all. F9 will invoke the script to merge them. Yes, we take that as the master track. 
and wait for this to finish. Command equals sign back to the playlist where we left off. And then it's again pressing F10. Next up, I will demonstrate it with different problemed audio files and those are in my dance related collection. And let's start a random track to make an offset track. I invoke the F10 key and after a while it should find a track that has troubles. And again, you can just do command F, command V and link this track to it. But if you want to know what the problem is, you click the cancel button. And let me show you what the problem is for this particular track. And we go to the file tab. Then you can see that this is not an audio file, it is something else. And this is one of the big problems in my collection at the moment after recovering from a backup. Uh, the how and why is all explained in that previously mentioned Ask Me Anything live stream. But this is the only way to fix that. So let me find that track again. And this is the only way, command F, command V, and then double clicking the track to fix this. There is no other way to fix a track that has a non-audio file link to it. So if I invoke F10, it will find me the next track that has troubles. And most likely it will be the same kind of trouble. A non-audio file link, command F, command V, double click it. And then you will see it. I hope this script will help many people as it has helped me a great lot. Mixmaster G signing off.